Another topic is DNI. I believe that I saw a report from World Bank. Uh, the global labor force is about 39% women. However, based on the route to the top report, we find that among the global CEOs, only 7% of them are female. So how do you address the balance in your leadership team? We also have our own challenges around uh, representation um, at senior leadership levels, both from a, um, a gender perspective, but also a cultural perspective, and then also even uh, a, an education and background perspective as well. And for us, I think diversity uh, at, at these leadership tables needs to be mindful of all of those characteristics, not just the gender one, albeit the gender one is is super important. Some of the ways in which we've addressed it is to identify where we can um, support emerging female talent through those critical moments of their career uh, journey, where through uh, family or other life um, circumstances, they may need to take either a sideward step, a pause or something alternative, um, but then wish to come back to continue on their leadership growth journey. Um, so we're putting a lot of effort into identifying that and then creating mental relationships for them with other um, executive female uh, leaders in the organisation who can share their own experiences, but also with senior males in the organisation who can also help them with different perspectives as well. As a global organisation, it's different challenges in different parts of the world. The challenges faced by uh, females in India is very different to the challenges faced by females in North America. Um, and so we need to um, very much keep a, a local response to those challenges and ensure that we're fit for purpose for um, the challenges, no matter where they are across the M4 landscape.